Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, KYP561. I'm coming in here to talk to you all about last night's episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. This is season one, and this will be episode number 17. I don't know what the title of it is, but it will be um, down in the uh, description box. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone for coming in to check me out on this video. Please take the time to thumbs up the video. Um, share the video comment on the video subscribe to my channel um i did get i have gotten a few new subscribers i do want to say welcome to the family um like i told y'all last last uh video that i consider you all my cousins okay so thank you for uh for subscribing to the channel all right so um i guess we're just gonna go ahead and get into it this episode um it was a little um, it was still a good episode, but it was a little bit on a lower, um, level as far as, um, the intensity of it for me. Um, so it didn't give me what it gave me last week and the, um, and the week before, but it was still good. And I like the show. So regardless on, you know, what it, what it is, what it gives, I'm still going to watch it. Okay. So, um, the video, I'm sorry, the, um, episode opens up with Martel going to see his mom. We've seen Martel's mom um, at least a time or two. I know that I have seen some scenes with her and Mel um, talking where Mel is basically going over there to vent to Martel's mom about the shit that he's putting her through. And the only thing I got from the mama is deal with it. That's, that's what I got from the mama. I didn't see no advice i didn't see her trying to find out what the fuck her son got going on i didn't see none of that basically what i got from the mama is a man gonna be a man and it's either you gonna accept it or you're not that's what i got okay <laughs> so anyway this time same thing once again the mom really didn't say too much of anything martel did most of the talking um uh it basically was just a scene to let us know that we're getting ready to be introduced to martel's daddy okay so um he's basically saying how he values his mom's opinion which i don't know what opinion it is because i still ain't seen her give one but you know maybe we'll get a little bit more out of her um as the story with the dad uh progresses i don't know but Personally, I really think they could have just did without that whole scene. So, um, anyway, um, what else did I want to say? Oh, I, I wanted to say, um, he did say that, uh, his dad has been locked up for the majority of his life, Martel's life. And he said that it was over 20 plus years. So I was like, oh, okay. Now I'm gonna have some questions about that once him and the daddy get together. Okay. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little note right there. So then... Um, the mom says, okay, yeah, good idea. So he said he gonna, you know, get up with his daddy, whatever. So now we roll over here to Mel. Mel is doing a photo shoot for something. I don't know what it is because I, I couldn't get over that wig. I hate that wig. Don't like it. Don't like it. And don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the way that it's, that it fits on her head. It looks like a helmet. Those, um, edges look crunchy to me. I don't like that blonde. I like it the way that she wears it. I like it. You know, with the just give me a little piece of blonde. Don't wash yourself out with that color because you really, really are, are you're a real light skinned lady. Don't wash yourself out with just a. I'm talking about, and maybe if it was, if it had a darker root, I'm not sure. I just, I didn't like it. Okay. So, anyway, and the shit just starts to grow like throughout the episode but whatever child so she doing a photo shoot for something i don't know what it was in her confessional she basically says that um you know she wanted to take some time out and do some things for herself so i don't know if that's where this photo shoot idea comes in or if it was actually for something um but um she was like just basically being married to um martel is exhausting not only because of the cheating but because he's just so needy now my thing is this if you got you a needy nigga anything you do it ain't gonna never be enough as we see that's why you and him have so many damn problems because you said it yourself he's needy He's needy. If he's needy, anything that you do, he's going to always need more. So you're going to always have issues with him with the cheating, which is, you know, all type of shit in general, because you said yourself, he a needy ass nigga. So if you know this, whatever he, whatever he deal out to your ass, you, you signed up for it. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so then we go, oh child, we go over here to Marceau and Miss Wanda. 
All right, so I told y'all that I like Miss Wanda, but Miss Wanda is out of order. And even though everything that Miss Wanda is telling Marceau as she dead on the money, she's out of order because you can't come into somebody else's house, okay? Now, okay, so l let's just say, to me, it would be a little different if um, Letitia and Marceau were married. Letitia was the breadwinner is Letitia's house. Letitia is working. Letitia is bringing in the money. She's basically keeping Marceau, okay? And if you felt like, to, to me, that will give you validation to think that it's okay for you to run up in there and tell him what the fuck he is and what the fuck he ain't gonna do. But that's not the case. It's basically the other way around. Even if, even if he is out there cheating with 20 women or whatever, he's still maintaining his house as wrong as it may be, okay? But just hear me out. As wrong as it may be, he's still maintaining the house. He's still making all the money. Letitia and them kids ain't missing no damn meals, even though he don't spend no fucking time with them damn kids. So it's like you can't come into this man's house and just basically step down on him like that. Even though the shit that you're saying, you dead on, you know what I'm saying? But to me, it would be more effective if you was getting on his ass from your own damn house. <laughs> Okay, you can't come up in somebody else's shit and just basically bum bum brush them and, and tell them how to run their shit. You know what I'm saying? And once again, I just think that she does it because she know Letitia is weak. And if Letitia ain't done it yet, Letitia ain't gonna goddamn do it. Okay, so apparently Letitia is out of town. So Marceau, he called himself gonna take Miss Wanda out just to basically see what her issue is with them, but you know what her issue is with you, but whatever, okay? He want to see what the issue is, what, what her issue is with him, how can they make things better, you know, so on and so forth. So um, she he says that he was under the impression that she came to help Letitia out with the kids. And um, she says she came there to basically get in where she fit in, which is in y'all business. <laughs> Now, my thing with this is, Letitia, this also speaks to, this This also makes me look at you like, I don't, and I don't want to say that you're weak. I don't like using that, but you're giving me weak like teas, okay? Because for one, once you become an adult, if you're grown enough to bear children and you're grown enough to call yourself being someone's wife and maintaining a household and doing all this, you can't be running to your mama hollering about, oh, I need help with the kids or, oh, I need help with this. If you feel like you need help with them goddamn kids, don't have no more, okay? I don't think that's in the cards for y'all. Y'all might be done, but y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't handle that, you should have never signed up for it, you know? But whatever. So she's supposed to be going off to some leadership training, child. Leadership training for what? I don't know. Sound like some bullshit to me, but whatever. Okay. So, um, but yeah, like I said, the mama's out of order. So she basically, she asked Marceau about these women that he's supposed to be running around town with. He still ain't saying yes or no. Okay. He's still, you know, beating around the bush and, you know, asking all these goddamn uh, rhetorical ass questions. Bitch, the only answer that I want to hear is a yes or a no. <laughs> That's it. You know, simple and plain. I don't understand what the problem is. But whatever, child, we still ain't getting that. Um, Mama Wanda, uh, I, she says she gonna go ahead and let it go, but I know she got that shit keyed in the back of her mind because she know, bitch, you still ain't answered my question, but okay, I'm gonna let you have that. You know, but um, let me see. But yeah, but basically she, she read his ass down, but you ain't got no business talking to that man like that when you up in his shit, you know, like simply plain. But anyway, um, let me see where else. Okay, so now let's go over here to Kimmy and Maurice. Kimmy is about to make this um a competition. So we see that Monster is there for the summer. Why monster sitting up in there with that hat caught to the side like that? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, wait, y'all, what's going on? You finna go somewhere? Like, why? I mean, that, that was just random. Okay, but whatever, child. So, um, Kimmy is busy trying to get this, um, 
this event together that she's having with, with the uh, the toiletry drive or whatever. I, I kind of find out it was like a, a community fair, and instead of the whatever, we'll get to that later. So anyway, she's busy with that. So Maurice asked her, you know, do you want me to pick up dinner or whatever? So she was like, okay, yeah, cool. So she, he asked her what she wants. She was like, okay, I want. I think she said Mexican or whatever. Ask Monster what he wants. Monster say he wants sushi. How they say a monster is? Cause bitch, I ain't started eating sushi till I was in my 30s. <laughs> but whatever, child. Anyway, okay. So then Kimmy was like, so what about what she say her son name is? Is it Jamal? I don't think it's Jamal. I and I don't wanna I don't wanna give him the wrong name. I whatever. You're not gonna ask him, my son, what he wants to eat. And he was like, he's not here. And He's grown, so pretty much whatever's in here, he's going to eat whatever's in here. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, okay, I see where this is going. She's about to make this a competition because, for one, your son is grown, okay? He's grown. He's basically, I don't want to call the man a visitor, but isn't he just there for the summer? Like, ain't he in school off somewhere or whatever? But, you know, y'all know what I'm saying, okay? He's not a visitor like he's a stranger in the home or nothing like that. But, you know, it ain't like, Kimmy... I didn't like that, okay? I didn't like that. If you got an issue with what's going on, you need to just say that shit and don't be trying to... Because she was like, you know, you don't include me into the decisions that you make it which that, that's clear okay because if it if, if it wasn't that way we wouldn't be having this shit going on with your ass the totally damn people that you finna move them down here and buying a house or getting a house or whatever fuck it is you're supposed to be doing so they get into that and then the bottom line is she tells him that she wants an apology he told her just like i told y'all last week Bitch, I don't think you're going to get no damn apology. And you're not going to get an apology because, once again, Kaiwa don't see nothing wrong in what she's uh, what she has said about you. Because he didn't meet her at the door. Like, slow your road. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't do that. So, um, for that reason alone, she feels validated in the shit that she said. And she feels validated in the way that she feels about you. So, I'm not going to apologize to a bitch about how I feel about them. I'm just, I ain't going to do it, you know. So anyway, um, we go back over here to Martel. He done set up a fishing trip with his dad. And so um, they out there, you know, they fishing, which it looks so calm and peaceful out there. I would be paranoid as hell because the shit look like late plastic to me. So I'll just be waiting on like a gator or some shit to come and rock that little ass boat. <laughs> but it looked really pretty out there. They It was just them two out there on the little fishing boat or whatever and you know they just having a conversation so martel says that he wants to have a relationship with his dad but he wants to have a relationship based off of the person that his father is because his daddy don't know him and he don't know his daddy now what kind of threw me off was in him asking his father questions because his dad said that he was open to answer any questions. He was open to talk about anything that Martel want to talk about. So then Martel asked him, what was he locked up for? How the fuck you done been locked up for 22 goddamn years and you as a child, you ain't never bothered to ask your mama what the fuck is my daddy in jail for all these goddamn years? And even if you didn't ask your mother, you can't go look, you didn't, it never dawned on you to go look it up. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know if he was in jail for murder. You don't know if he was in jail for drugs. You don't know if he was in jail for, you know, assault and rape or anything. Like, how somebody daddy locked away for 22 goddamn years? Even And, and the conversation that he was having with his dad, it, it really touched home for me. Because, you know, for those of you that have been subscribed to me for quite some time, I talked about my relationship with my dad on quite a few videos, or should I say the lack thereof, okay? So I was glad that he did get a chance to ask his daddy some of those questions that he asked him, or at least that we were able to see that he asked him, because I'll never get the opportunity to ask my daddy shit, okay? Um, on some of my previous videos, I always would say, you know, my daddy could be my next door neighbor and I wouldn't even know it. Or if I did see him, I would ask him X, Y, Z, okay? Um, I've also mentioned this, but for, you know, for, for the people that are new here, um, I'll never get a chance to ask my daddy none of that shit because my dad was murdered last year. It was um, September, made a year, okay? And... I hadn't I hadn't laid eyes on that man since I was 14 years old. Okay. And it we were in the same state. Matter of fact, we in the same damn county. Okay. 
maybe like 45 minutes away you know i'm i'm south and he was up north but we in the, we were in the same damn county so as martel was talking to his dad and his daddy was telling him how proud he is of him and um you know as far as where his life has where he is in his life how he is with his family and you know all that type of shit you know and it was done without him or without his guidance and martel said you know had my life turned out any different I would have been blaming you for it. And I was like, damn, you know, that kind of, you know, hit me a little bit because so I do want to know how my life would have turned out had my daddy not been there. But my daddy was always in and out of jail. But I always knew, even though I haven't seen the man in, in over 25 years, because my daughter, she'll be 26 next month. OK, and the last time I saw him, I was just finding out that I was pregnant with her. OK, so. He never, he never saw her. He never, I mean, I don't even know if he knows that I went to college. I don't know if he knows that I, that I'm married. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know what he knew about me because when I went to his funeral, none of the people even knew me. Like <laughs> his sisters didn't know anything about me. Um, his mom, his mom has, um, Alzheimer's so you know she's not in her right state of mind but I had never seen that lady before in my life okay in my whole entire life I had never seen that lady so you know the conversation that Martel was having with his dad a lot of that you know it, it hit home for me but w once again I don't understand how your daddy done been locked up for 22 years and you acting like you ain't know what the fuck he was in jail for but he said that he was a hustler all his life same as my daddy you know what I'm saying but just so happened his hustle his hustle put him in jail for 22 years and my daddy hustle put him in the grave it's only one or two it's only two ways out you know what i'm saying in prison in the grave you, you gotta choose you know so anyway um that was that with them so then now we're gonna go over here to kimmy's event so um kimmy put on the event once again it was a like a community um event but instead of her charging admission, she just asked that people bring um, female toiletries or whatever. So I thought that that was um, a pretty good idea. Now, the turnout wasn't what she expected at all. And I don't know if it was because of the promotion or the lack thereof. Um, but it was a handful, it was a handful of people there. And she had, I saw like bounce houses. I saw like all these tents and, you know, I heard music. So they had a DJ out there. I mean, it, it was a, and it was a big open space, but maybe it was her first event. I don't know. Okay. But if she was happy with the way that it went down, that's all, that's all that matters. Okay. So, um, the hopes show up when the shit's over, okay? And Mel is throwing shade because it wasn't nobody there. Well, since it had the comeback group's name on it, maybe you should have helped her promote. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. But she did offer to stick around and help her to, you know, start cleaning things up and, you know, whatever. So I, I, I thought that was all right, but, you know, it was still a little bit shady. <laughs> um, Let me see. Okay, so they decided they want to have a comeback group meeting to determine where they stand as the comeback group okay child Mel shows up now Mel done got the damn hair down her back child Martel wasn't feeling that shit and I was not either okay for the first time in a long time I agreed with Martel I was like nah bitch okay first of all Mel's head is too small for that big ass wig because it looks like a helmet it looks like a hat <laughs> you know what I'm saying and like I said that blonde I don't like it on her all over like that because it's drowning her out because her complexion is too light and maybe if she would have got like a dark root like i said um it would be okay it's not the fact that the hair is long i ain't got no issue with that it's just that damn color and the fit of it that's what's killing me but anyway child they show up to this meeting and so now all the couples start to come in and of course everybody got something to say in the confessional however about Mel's hair so I knew that it wasn't just me okay so um bottom line is Mel wants to get out of the comeback group she wants to pull out um at some point I believe she thought that her and Martel were on the same page but then once everybody start expressing their um 
their reasons for trying to keep the group together and you know different things that they can do and what the purpose of the group was and this and that and the other martel had a change of heart so martel calls mel outside in the hallway he talks she makes some comments but in his mind they're on the same page he goes back in and says you know that they're gonna go ahead and stay in the group she says Bitch, you gonna stay in the group, but I'm not staying in the group. <laughs> so he's looking like, hold on, like, what did we just talk about? She was like, we didn't just talk about shit. You just said, you just talked about something. I never agreed with you. You know what I'm saying? So now he feeling some type of way because she done basically got him looking crazy out here in front of the, the group or whatever. Now, what I didn't like, it was two things that I didn't like. On Mel's end, I didn't like how she kept saying, you know, we benefit them, we benefit them, we benefit them. They don't benefit us. We can easily just pull out and keep doing what we've been doing. We don't need them. Okay, that might be true. But I did agree with Martel on this. Like, it's not about that. You know what I'm saying? It's about the efforts that we're trying to put forth in the community. Mel saying, we can continue to do that. We don't need them to do that. But I agree with Martel. Mel on some fuck shit. I agree with Martel. At least give it another try. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you feel like they just riding y'all coattails, because that's what it sounds like what Mel is trying to say. She feels like they riding their coattail. I don't necessarily see that. I just think that Mel and Martel, their business, um, they, they're they more out there with their business. Their business is more successful because I really don't know what business Kimmy and Maurice and Letitia and Marceau has. Like, I always hear about Holt and Hope. I don't never hear about whatever their businesses are, you know. And apparently, whatever it is, they need Mel and Martel. Like, they need that um, validation from them being a part of this comeback group. So, I kind of get what Mel is saying, but I don't like it. I'm with Martel on this. Let's just stick it out and see what happens. I mean, shit, if we don't like how it's going, we could pull out at any time, and that's true, you know, but whatever. But so, now, what I didn't like with Martel is all of this, you know, just do what your husband say, and um, if your husband said this and that, I said, now, what? What the fuck's going on around here? Because I never got that from him. And she even said it. Oh, it seemed to me like you're trying to pull a Marceau. I said, God dick. Y'all just <laughs> y'all just throw Marceau under the bus any chance y'all get, huh? But it's true. And I and I was very shocked by that. I was like, I didn't I never got that from um Martel, but he showed his colors tonight, child. So once again, um, this really didn't do too much for me as the the previous two episodes but all in all it was still good so um uh, thank you all once again for clicking on the video and once again please like comment and subscribe and until next time y'all peace out